Happening today, the Pierce County Council voting on whether to adopt a plan that could reduce deaths and injuries on our roads. Yeah, Fox 13's Brian Flores is more on why this is personal for one local man, Brian. It's personal for one man. A lot of people are sounding off as well, you guys. The father of this teenager, though, hit and killed in Parkland, uh, Parkland Crosswalk last month, is asking people to attend today's Pierce County Council, min uh, Council meeting. Many people, as I mentioned, have already voiced their support for Vision Zero. It's part of a nationwide movement to eliminate eliminate traffic deaths and serious injuries by 2035. But in Pierce County specifically, the numbers are staggering. According to the council, 520 people died or were seriously hurt in over 12,000 crashes in the county between 2016 and 2021. There is also a 58% increase in crashes from 2020 to just last year. Now, the intersection where Michael Weiler was killed is part of a traffic corridor that's seen multiple crashes in the last year. Weiler's father wants to make sure nothing like this happens to anyone else. It's pretty hard to deal with. It's the worst thing I've ever had to deal with in my life. I couldn't imagine anything, anything worse than this. And we believe that this will help. This will help this, uh, help this cause. So what committing to Vision Zero would do is basically align Pierce County Council's policies, programs, and funding to reduce traffic deaths and injuries overall. And the State Traffic Safety Commission is helping. Uh, they just approved a short-term grant to ramp up pedestrian safety emphasis patrols in the area. Today's Pierce County Council meeting, by the way, starts at 3 this afternoon. Guys, back over to you.